I'm a cyclist, I play basketball, I'm a skier, I rock climb, I just qualified for the Boston Marathon. My name is Katie and I'm paralyzed. August of 2002, I was in an auto accident. I was a passenger in a car that and the tire blew. It rolled and I was thrown out from the car. Um, no one had to tell me, but I knew that I was paralyzed. I remember the first time I um, was alone in the hospital, I had to sit and think and I was at a crossroads. I could either be the bitter, angry person or hit this challenge head on and that's exactly what I decided to do. I can honestly say that I was filled with complete trust from the very first time I remember waking up, I, I knew that everything was going to be okay. I had trust in the Lord that, that He had a plan for me, that, that He was going to make it possible for me to succeed. I decided to go to the local hospitals and go talk to newly injured patients. I've been able to go to other countries in need. It's, it's been great to serve others, to give them hope. It was the best, the best feeling ever. That's what this life is about, service of others and the joy that it brings. Since the accident, I've, um, I love taking on new challenges and being able to embrace all of these new, um, new ways of life and new activities that, that I do, it, it keeps me happy. I'm always searching out new things to do and it's just shown me that, that this is just another way of life. The example that I'm giving to, to my children, to my peers, it's, it's worth everything to me. I've definitely learned that the Lord sees the bigger picture and that the Lord sees the ability within the disability. If we turn our lives over to Him, no matter what happens in this life, we will always be given the strength to keep moving forward. I know this for a certainty. It is often in the trial of adversity that we learn those most critical lessons that form our character and shape our destiny.